guys, welcome back to episode eight of Go Through Nation News. I'm Mackenzie, your host, and we are just descended into quad three. How is it for everyone? For me personally, I feel like um, after quad two, I was really stressed, and just the end of it was just like really stressful, like finals and everything. But then it ended, and quad three has been great for me so far. I'm just trying to not procrastinate and get really behind my work. So. I give the advice to you to be proactive, like, you know, get your work done. It can be really hard, but uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be in the turmoil I was before and I don't recommend it for you all. So we have some fun stuff for you today, so let's get into it. First up, we have a message from our principal, Mr. Shelton. Hello, Gophers. This is Principal Shelton. Just coming by to make a few announcements and say hello. I got a little cheat sheet of paper because I want to make sure that I'm giving you all the information needed uh, as you guys are transitioning into the quad three. So again, I hope everybody is enjoying themselves and able to log in and continuing up on your studies. With the uptick in COVID cases, our, in our community, I think it's very important that we are following health and safety guidelines from our state leaders. So continue to do that, please. We have just entered into the second half of the school year. With all the chaos of COVID, distance learning, and building updates, this year is speeding by. Please make sure you continue to stay on top of your assignments, announcements, and all things dealing with your education at Gresham. June will be here before you know it. And I wanna make sure you all have the necessary information as we draw close to the school year. So please pay attention to the announcements. First announcement today for me is in regards to our transition from IB to AP. Teachers and counselors have already begun looking at ways we can introduce AB to, Gresham, to the Gresham community while we are still keeping you at the core of the decisions, which is always you first. We wanna make sure we are offering relevant and rigorous offerings will support your success as we transition to life beyond high school. We are also offering tutoring. I wanna make sure everyone knows about our tutoring services offered on Wednesdays. Our virtual tutoring center is open on Wednesday from 1120 to 120 and two to four. We offer supports in math, science, English, and social studies. Please reach out to your advisor or your counselor if you need more information. You may have heard of something called a lippy. Gresham Barlow community is planning for a possible lippy, which is limited in-person instruction. Without getting too far in the weeds of the process, our district leadership team is still finalizing the plan, which we will send out once finalized. What I do know as of today is that this will be for a limited cohort of students Lippy will take place outside of the school day, and students who are identified in the Lippy group still have the opportunity to opt out and continue online instruction if that works best for you. More information will come as soon as the plan is finalized. Again, all, I just want to again say thank you to all of you who continue to log in. I appreciate all of you for your continued grit and determination. I'm so impressed with everyone and truly just want to say thank you and continue to, to impress. Go Gophers, stay safe, take care. Thanks, Mr. Shelton. Next, we wanted to do a segment on Chinese New Year and the, because the primary day is this Friday, February 12th, and we asked some students and some teachers about how they celebrate and what the holiday is really about. So you celebrate Chinese Chinese New Year. What mm -hmm. is Chinese New Year? What is Chinese New Year? Um, it is a time of celebration. It is the biggest holiday in many of the Asian country. Uh, if you could think of, you know, how here in America, 
Christmas is a big, big deal, right? Mm -hmm. The time of family getting together, lots of food, lots of gathering, and all of that. That is Chinese New Year. Cool. Long short of it, and is basically a celebration of a new beginning.、Uh, as a matter of fact, if you look up Chinese New Year,、uh, the literal translation is actually New Spring. People actually say "Happy New Spring" or "Welcoming the New Spring"、uh, because it's technically the first day of spring. Oh,、and、you're thinking, wait a minute, it's February, right?、Mm-hmm. It's because the Chinese calendar follow the lunar calendar,、uh, follow the moon,、mm-hmm. as our Western calendar follow the sun, and so that's why it's also called Lunar New Year. Um, so that's the beginning of the yearly cycle, I guess, and so that's why it usually happens sometime in the Western calendar around a little bit before, a little bit after、uh, Valentine's Day.、Um, so how do you celebrate Chinese New Year? So a member in my entire family, they basically bring in food. They get to be the host. And they bring in food. There's dance. There's karaoke. There's traditional games. And sometimes people show up in traditional outfits. It's like a long dress with a little crown. And some point in the party, there's a red envelope ceremony. Is basically, you know, where all the kids line up and the adult passes out red envelopes. And if you don't know, there's money inside.、Mm-hmm. And it lasts for a long time, like until the next morning. <laughs> Um, do you wear any traditional things on Chinese New Year, or just like classic t shirt, t shirt, jeans?、Um, sometimes I show up in like a long dress with the crown that you wear, like an angel type crown thing, and that's it.、Mm-hmm. How's COVID like affecting your celebration this year? Since、oh, you're having your big party. So th- this COVID, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have a party this year unless we do it in secret. I don't know, <laughs> but most likely we're not. Yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Um, is there any special meals or special like foods you guys have? Um, I know that in northern China they uh they have a lot of dumplings or the、uh, jiazi,、mm-hmm. which is just you know like. Dumpling, which is like pork, beef, vegetables, really good,、um, and that they signify longevity and wealth,、um, and they sort of look like、uh, the shape of them, like half moons. They tip. They people associate those shape with the the, the currency that China once used with the gold. It's like golden gringots. It was called like Chinese sizes.、Mm-hmm. I could be. Pronouncing them terribly, but、um, it's just how they're shaped and like the association with oh, good wealth, good fortunes get come our way if we have a lot of it. You just、That's、consume、cool. a lot. Yeah, yeah, and、um, there's also fish. Typic for my family, fish is like big and it's like really good for you, good like omega and all that, as well as the because Chinese the language the Chinese language is so.、Um, Complicated sometimes, in my opinion.、Mm-hmm. Um, there's some words associated to certain to certain、uh, words that it sounds like the same, like homophones, like read or read, different meanings.、Um, and the Chinese reading for fish, it sounds like abundance or a lot of. So we typically eat fish to signify, oh, you'll. Get a lot of good things coming. If you got, if anyone wants to learn about these holidays in different Asian countries, just it's really fun to learn about their traditions and the cultural. And just have some cultural appreciation for、uh, other people, other minorities who celebrate it for specific reasons and the how much it actually means to them. It just, it's really fun to find other people being like, "Hey, that's really cool. You get like money or." That's really cool. The there's lion dances that are really, really intricate and like so ac- acrobatic that I can't even do it. It's yeah, it's 
awesome to hear that other people would appreciate my culture and other Asian cultures that also celebrate Lunar New Year. Chinese New Year seems so interesting and fun. What I personally loved learning about was how they clean all the bad luck away before midnight on New Year's Eve. And then after midnight, they don't clean for like a good couple of days. And it just like made me feel really connected to Asian culture because personally I'm Filipino and that's exactly what they do on Happy New Year or New Year's my bad. And yeah, that was my favorite part. I thought it was very interesting and it just, the superstitions, it's so cool. So next we have an update from our clubs about how this crazy distance learning year has affected them. First, we started with Key Club. So what does Key Club look like? Being um, what we do, so we do a lot of volunteering and we also fundraising. Um, we fundraise for the Thirst Project, which is like, we go to small countries in um, like Eswatini and we um, help them build wells for uh, clean water. So yeah, and then we also do a lot of community service. Have some of our students gotten to travel to other places to help people? Um, not yet because our club is relatively small and usually the people that would travel are like the representative of all of the key clubs because we have multiple key clubs in like different schools. So Barlow has one, Clackamas has one, Reynolds has one too. So yeah, so the, the person that is like governing those clubs are the one that go. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, so you would say Key Club does a lot of volunteering and raising money and that sort of thing. It's a yeah. club to help people. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's really cool. What do you love about Key Club? I love that I can meet new people, um, especially I'm the officer, so I get to meet other officers and we get to like create a group and then we volunteer together. And I think that's really fun. And I think volunteering with other people it like it makes it more meaningful somehow yeah that's why I love it yeah that's that sounds really cool what are some examples of things that key club has done in the past um so we have done for example we volunteered at the grottos um and we help ring bells for the salvation army and we have about farms and just any organization that needs volunteering um, our volunteers and we also have these divisional meeting which is where all of the key clubs in the like our region comes together and then we do more volunteering hours yeah and it's pretty fun wow it sounds like it yeah. would you recommend key club to others to join as well totally uh i think like it's a really cool experience and you get to learn a lot. And I think it really helps me grow as a person. So yeah, and I would recommend them joining, um, especially this year, if they still want to join, they totally can. Um, although I have to say because of COVID, there's like a very limited amount of volunteering opportunities um, that we can offer. So yeah, but other than that next year, it'd be really great if they join. If people were interested in joining this year, how would they go about doing that? Like, who would they contact? Right, um, so they can contact uh, Garden Hire, Mr. Garden Hire, uh, or they can go to our Key Club account or Instagram account, um, which is just type in Gresham Key Club and um, you should be able to find it. Yeah, and then just DM us or like email or in here. You guys sound like you're really trying to help out to our community, even though it's so tough during these times because, you know, social distancing and stuff. So, and lastly this week, we are covering Valentine's Day since it is this weekend, this Sunday. Did you buy something for your lover or are you rejecting the holiday altogether? We wanted to know what you were up to. So we caught up with a bunch of students to see what they were doing. And that's all we have for you this week. Have a lovely week, guys. Ta-ta, happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna spend my Valentine's Day playing with my puppy and eating chocolate. Not at the same time. Hi guys, my name is Hannah 
and I'm not the biggest fan of Valentine's Day, but if I had to choose between chocolate and roses, I'd definitely go chocolate. But the best Valentine's Day gift is definitely money. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'm not doing anything this year. I think it's best to spend your time and attention and money on celebrating Black History Month because Valentine's Day is only one day this year. So remember to celebrate Black History Month. Hey y'all, this is Jakari Thompson here. And what I do for Valentine's Day is show my love and appreciation and show how grateful I am towards my family and my family also towards me and all that, towards each other. And what I'm actually gonna do is, you know, spend some time in Florida with them, have a, uh, have a little vacation with them, you know, have a good time with each other. And yeah, that's what I pretty much do each year for my Valentine's Day. So this Valentine's Day, although I'm gonna be staying home, I'm gonna be baking a cake and then eating it with my family. Hi, my name is Rory. I'm a junior at Gresham High School, and I think the best thing to receive on Valentine's Day is probably flowers or chocolate from someone that you like or care about.